there designer you're welcome to start with them my name is Ruthie and today we're going to be drafting a half scale basic bodice tutorial now this is a foundational pattern and if you are a beginner learning how to sew from scratch or an advanced freehander that wants to transit into pattern drafting this video is for you so do well to watch this this pattern we're drafting today is basically your entire body measurement in this area up to the smallest part of your waist so it stops at your waist you can choose to add a peplum to the end of it and then it becomes a peplum top you can also add a flare skirt to the end of it and it becomes a flare dress you can also add a pencil skirt to it and it becomes a pencil a straight office work dress carpet shift dress whatever you call it so please if you're interested in learning how to draft a half scale basic bodies please stay tuned and watch this video to the end i would advise that you keep this in your archives because i'm going to be making reference to this video a lot in my subsequent tutorials thank you so much for watching bye for now okay so i've gone ahead to Draw out my lines, my my rectangular box first of all, and this box is derived by. If, you, if you're watching this video, you can see a rectangular box. Now this box is derived by my client's bust measurement, bust circumference divided by two plus two inches is, and then we divided by two. Now I'm going to show you what we did. Her bust is 34, right? We divided 34 by two. We had 17. We added two inches is making it 19 now so here to this line on this on this paper is 19 now we did 19 divided by two which is nine and a half and we added it in the middle so that separated the front and the back so this is our front box and block and this is our back block now if you've seen the measurement video our front measurement, we're, we're drafting with the boss dart, dart technique and our front um, shoulders to waist at the front is different from the shoulders to the waist at the back because of the bust in front. So we have our shoulder up here, so our waist down here at 16 for the front and we have our shoulder up here to our waist um, down here as 14 for the back. So we have a difference of 2 inches. So we have that drafted. Now we draft with pencils because you would not want to make a mistake and not be able to erase. So we are drafting with pencils. Now we're going to be taking. Now we're going to be going ahead with this pattern. So after you've gotten your rectangle, that is very it's very important that you do that, especially if you are going to follow this style of pattern drafting because every video is going to be. As stated earlier, most of my videos are going to be, to be are going to refer to this and use this as a foundation. So it's good that you follow through with this so that you don't have issues when you draft your pattern. So we're going to be taking our shoulder divided by two, which is 14. 14 divided by two is seven. So we're taking seven on each side. This is seven for the front and seven for the back from the from the line at the back, making it 14. Remember that 7 from the front and 7 from the back equals to a total of 14. Now we're also going to be taking in our neckline. So normally to get anybody's neckline, a lot of people will say do 3 by 3 or 3 by 3.5 for a big person. Well, that works, but sometimes there can be issues. So the easiest way to get a person's collar uh, measurement or collar neck width and neck depth is to Divide their bust by 12 for anybody at all. This gives you their custom neck depth and width measurements. Now for the back, your neck depth usually is one. Then if you want to make it deeper, you can make it deeper. But for a shirt, for most things that have your back at the normal, you have one for a neck depth. But for the front, now this bust divided by 12 is 2.83, but we round it up to 3. So you can just, just watch how I'm doing this. I'm taking out from the center front three, and then I'm going to slant it, and I'm going to take the three all round in a circular mo in a circular form. 
for my margin line you can see that i have a margin line here i'm going to use my marker pen to um make this bold so you can see what i am saying but there's a margin line there and so you can choose to start from the beginning of the paper and you can choose to use the margin line so in this particular tutorial i am using a margin line so every every vertical measurement starts from the margin line so you can see our margin line and i'm drawing it out with my marker now it's better to use pencils many times because they help you with accuracy of measurements the marker can sort of add to your measurements sometimes so you're taking your neckline your for the back as i mentioned earlier our neck depth is one you are coming down by one inch from your margin line or from the start of your paper if you're using the start of your paper and then you're taking your neck width of three you mark that out and then you slant it slightly you know that the back is not so deep you mark that out and so you can just watch me place my curves and draw out this neckline so you're going to place your curve in a way that both the back and the front align you're going to place your pattern in a way your curve in a way that all your points can meet each other and you can still be rounded because what we're doing is a round neck right before you alter to any other neckline so you can see that we have our one there and Place your curve like so. And you draw out your line. So you have your neckline. The next thing we're going to be taking is our shoulder slant. Now for your shoulder slant, you're going to be doing on your shoulder divided by 2, which is 7. You're going to come down by 1.5 for the front from your margin line. You're going to come down by 1 from the back for your margin line now you're going to connect that back to your neck width you're connecting that back to your neck width which we took earlier which is three so So I've connected that and the next thing we're going to be getting is our chest line. Now for your chest line, you're going to divide your bust by 6. Your bust divided by 6, your bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 is how you get your chest line. There are other ways, but this is the way I use. And so our bust divided by 6 is 5.6 plus 1.5 is 7.1. So I chose to use the line right after 7. Because the next one is 7.25 and I don't want it to be 7.25. You want to make sure that this has the perfect fit. So you're entering your 7.1 from your shoulder slant on your back pattern. Now, not on your front. You know, we came down by one and a half on the front for a better fit. And one on the back. So the reason we're going to use the back to equalize it. Now, please watch this. Watch what I'm doing. You're going to measure, you know, we took our 7.1 from up from our shoulder slant on the back. Now you're going to measure from your shoulder line, not the shoulder slant, to your 7.1 point. This is 8.1. So from 8.1, you're going to take 8.1 on both the back and the front from the shoulder line. This is how you equalize it, guys. 8.1 from the front shoulder line and from the back shoulder line so you have the same line the same value across the back and the front and then you're going to draw a straight line across it and this is our chest line so you're going to draw a line connecting all your points all your 8.1 points that you have marked earlier
So you have your chest line there. You have your chest line at this point. We're going to be going ahead to derive our armhole. Now for the front, you're going to be extending with your pencil. Please use your pencil, mark the dotted lines from that your shoulder divided by two. Just extend it down to your chest line. Also do the same thing for the back. And so we have that. So from the, on the front on that line, you're going to go up by three inches. And then you're going to come in from that shoulder line, shoulder divided by two, which is 14 inches, by three quarter of an inch. Three quarter of an inch. That's 0 0.75. And then you're going to draw out your curve. Then for the back, you're going to draw out your armhole. So on the chest line for the front, you're going to take your bust divided by 4, which is 34 divided by 4, which is 8 and a half. So now you're going to take your curve and you're going to connect all your points from the shoulder slant to the 0 0.75 inch that you came in by in the midpoint of your sleeve to this your bust divided by four on your chest line so at this point you're just going to place your curve in the way that all of them all the points your pencil can pass on all the points and form a curve at the same time so you're going to place your curve in a way that your pencil can or your marker can pass through all the points without having to shift that curve. So you can see my armhole. I'm going to use my marker to highlight that so you can see. So you have your armhole at the front. Now we're going to repeat the same process for the back. But what we're doing for the back is that this your shoulder, this your line that you extended from your shoulder slant to your chest line. On your shoulder divided by two points, that's the 14. That line you extended down. You're going to measure from your slant to your chest line. And then you're going to divide it by two into two equal halves. So you mark there and then from that point you're going to come in by half of an inch then you're going to take out your bust divided by four which is eight and a half eight and a half so you mark that down you mark your eight and a half and then you use your cord to connect just like you did in front again you place it in a way that all your points can touch each other and then you draw out your armhole. So you can see we have our armhole perfectly drawn. Now we're going to be proceeding to the other parts of this um, tutorial, right? So remember that this is our center front for beginners, this is our center back, and this is your side front and this is your side back. So this is the side area of your pattern. Your armhole, shoulder slant. Please watch the definition of tens video I have posted before. And that should help you fully understand what I mean by center front, center back. I defined all the terms there, please. So at this point, we're going to be taking our horizontal measurements, your shoulder to your bust point, which is 10 for her. And you can you measure yours and you enter it. Show that to under bust, which is 14 for her. You you also mark that down and then show that to waist, which is 16. We already have that marked out earlier. Then for the back, you only need your chest line and your um 
waistline and we have that already marked out from the shoulder line you're going to go ahead and draw out all your lines So you have our under bust, and you have our bust, and you have our chest. So we have our chest line, and we have our wrist line. We have your wrist line. So we have basically you have this done. Now we're going to take our darts, and I'm still going to use pencil because we're trying to get this to to. To be as accurate as possible even though it's a tutorial so on your bust point you're going to divide your bust span by two which is her bust span is seven nipple to nipple it's called the bust span divided by two is seven um, it's seven divided by two is 3.5 so you're going to mark 3.5 down from your bust line 3.5 down on your under bust 3.5 down on your waist line and then you're going to draw a straight line and connect all of these points, all your 3.5 points to each other straight down. Then on your waistline, you're going to, this is how to add your dart. Now, on your waistline, you're going to come in by half of an inch, come in by half of an inch. That's the normal dart. But for me, I'm going to be doing 0 0.75 because I want an even better fit. So we're cleaning up 0 0.5 please so you're not confused. We're doing 0 0.75 on each side for that. Now you're going to connect this back to your bust point. So we just have connected this back to our bust point and this is what we have. I believe you can see this clearly. I can now choose to highlight in my marker. So that you can see it even better. Jesus is good. So at this point, you're going to take your bust divided by. You're going to take your bust divided by four, which is eight and a half, and you're going to put this down. And then you're going to on your waistline, you're going to take your waist divided by four. For her is six and a half, and you're going to measure your darts. Your darts is one and a half. So you're going to put in 0 0.75 to 0 0.75 is 1 and a half. You're going to add to this 6.5, 1 and a half. Then you're going to draw out your front. Now you have your front pattern literally ready. You're going to connect your points and your front pattern is ready. So we're going ahead to do the back now. There are alterations that have to be done on the back. First of all, you're going to do your back tightening, which is 0 0.75 inch. Some people do 1 inch. Some people do half an inch. I'm doing 0 0.75. For a bigger person, yes, you can do 1 inch. And then I'm going to connect this to my neckline. The advantages of using a pen. So I'm going to use my pencil first, then I'm going to highlight my markers. Whenever there are mistakes, we can always erase. So please always use your pencils. The reason for this marker is because we are doing the tutorial, and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing clearly without having to strain. So now, before we take our dart for the back, you're going to measure this area. So this comes about half an inch on your chest line, this line between the original back line and then your new back line. Because this new this line we connected now is how is your new back line. So that's half inch. Now to prevent shortages, you're going to come back on your bust divided by four where you took, and from that bust divided by four, you're going to add the half inch back and connect it back to your armhole. So when you're cutting, you must cut this in as well. If not, you would experience shortage. So we're trying to avoid shortages so that you will not have issues when you are joining. So we've added that back and now from your new center back line, this is um cancel, so we can even choose to erase it so that we don't confuse ourselves, right? So from your new center back line, you're going to take in your dart. Now 3.5. 3.5 inches. So you're going to connect this up.
They're going to come down from your chest line. By one inch. <coughs> and you're going to connect this to that one inch. Then you're going to do you're on the back, you can also do 0.75 for your dart. Um, on, for this pattern, I'm doing 0 0.5 and I'm doing 0 0.5 on each side. So you take out your 0 0.5 and you connect back to your chest line. Not your chest line, you're going to connect back to the one inch you came down from your chest line by. You also do that for the second side. And you are ready for your back. So let me highlight this also so that we can see what we are doing. So at this point, we're going to take our bust divided by our waist, sorry, divided by four, which is six and a half. And remember, from our original line, we came by 0 0.75. You're adding your 0 0.75 back to avoid shortage, and then you're adding your one inch, 0 0.5 inch plus 0 0.5 inch for that. You're adding it back one inch. So you're going to connect this to your to your chest line, to the point on your chest line, which is your bust divided by four and you have inch from here added back so we've added all of that back and basically 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 you have your pattern now at this point we're going to be taking our bust that now you can see that this is not equal and i mentioned that earlier let me highlight this line so that you can see what i mean so this is our back line back waistline Shoulder to waist 14 and shoulder to waist 16. Now to equalize the size, we're going to be taking our bust that. So you come down from your bust line by 2 inches. 14 and 16 minus 14. 16 minus 14 is 2. So you're going to take out the 2 inches here. You're going to use your pencil and you're going to connect back to your bust point. Now after doing that, you have your bust that. So I can fold that in. So by the time you fold this in, and you guys, you have to open this that to close to fold that in. By the time you fold this in, you'll be able to have your basic pattern. You, you would have here equal because you close it up, then you have here equal. So I'm going to cut through this pattern and show us show us how it's going to be when I close it. So just watch me. Remember that you're not supposed to use the same scissors. You cut your paper and your fabric. So get yourself a fabric scissors and you can use your own scissors as your paper scissors. That's the easiest thing to do. So I've separated through our middle line, remember the nine and a half from the beginning, our front and our back. So at this point, I'm going to be folding this. I'm just doing this as an example for you to understand what I mean. So after folding this, after folding this, when you place the both of them together, you see that it's equal. Can you see that the lines are lying? That's how you get, you know that you've gotten it right many times. That's the advantage of pattern drafting. So many times you just take a cell tape and you close this up. You close this up. And it's ready. Now, if you notice when we did this, the line shifted and this, these both lines did not align anymore. So you're going to take your ruler and you're going to connect back. Now, there's something we did at the back that we did not do at the front. We added half an inch here. So we're also going to equalize by adding half an inch here for ease because of the half that was added here. Just so that when you want to lift your arm, there's a bit of space for you. So after to that ease point, you're going to connect your bus that your your line that is coming from your waist area just connect it back and even if you're not going to take the ease you just follow the line as it's going and you connect it back and you have your line perfectly done so you can see this you don't open any dots yet i just did this as an example you're supposed to cut through these dots but i don't want to cut through this yet you're supposed to cut through this and then close this or cut through this and then close those will be taught eventually but for now this is what we have 
so to this pattern you ensure that you add your half an inch allowance round if that's what you're going to be using half an inch allowance when you're going to cut so you add half inch outside not inside outside so that when you when you sew by half inch you turn your neck with lining you'd have your original neckline if you don't do that when you turn with lining your neckline is going to increase and it's not it's not part of what you plan so you always add your 0 0.5 inch Zero point five inch round. So zero point five inch, zero point five, zero point five, zero point five. No, to this side is not zero point five, please. So it's this place 0 0.5 for joining to your peplum and your skirt and then whenever you're going to join that to each other you're going to cut through 0 0.5 but when you want to add this is your side seam the minimum, the minimum you can add here is one and many times you can use 1.5 to 2 inches so that you don't have too much in fact 2 inches is much or sometimes you want to have it so that in case your body size really changes you're able to still wear your clothes now for the back so you're going to add your zipper allowance one inch minimum one inch minimum so from this new center back line this is our center back from this new center back line you're going to you know you, you usually cut two pieces and your zip will be in the middle so at this point after doing this you will not have a zipper board when you when you wear it your waist area is going to to go in properly because it's curved normally that's the reason why we did this so now to this you must add one inch when you are cutting on fabric one inch minimum else you would not have what to fold for your zip and it will give you shortage if you fold like that and this side doesn't have what it needs so it's going to take out of this side so you must add its own and to this side the minimum you're adding is one inch is your side back and this is your side front and then to this side 0 0.5 like the front your shoulder stand 0 0.5 to your neckline 0 0.5 outside not inside outside so i hope you've been able to understand this pattern please feel free to ask your questions send in your questions on our telegram I'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can be a part of that group especially if you're going through our beginners course that is free it's going to allow you ask all your questions it's going to allow you um get your questions answered have a community of people you can ask questions and relate with so please feel free to join our group on telegram we are also on facebook at style we bloom sewing tutorials you can also join us on facebook ask your questions share your wins just be a part of the group. Secondly, you can follow us on social media on Instagram and on Facebook at Style with Bloom. There we post tutorials, short tutorials. We post every update from YouTube also goes there. At least so you know when new videos are out. Do well to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to see more detailed videos like this i hope that you make something out of this we look forward to seeing your practicals thank you so much for watching bye